Welcome to another episode of AWSP News You Can Use. Have you been using eval for teacher and principal evaluation? The creators of eval are seeking input on how to improve this great resource. Contact Ron at awsp.org to be a part of a select group of principals who will help shape the future of this tool. Stipends will be available to help in this work. Speaking of evaluations, Remember to pick up your interactive copy of the User's Guide in the iBook Store for your Mac, iPhone, or iPad while it's still on sale. It's a great, re great resource to help keep your evaluation on the right track. Thanks to those who tweeted to AWSP News with a guess on how many administrative changes there were last year. Everyone who tweeted got a prize. Just how many changes were there? Over 750. Thanks again to those of you who entered a guess. Did you know National Principals Month is coming right around the corner? Here in Washington, Governor Inslee has proclaimed October School Principals Month. We want to hear from some of, the, some of the best ways you've been recognized. Share them on Twitter with the hashtag AWSP News for a chance to win. Have you registered for WEC yet? Save your district some money and sign up for the room block rate. The special rates end on the 25th of September. Speaking of WEC, Who's excited to hear Dr. Steve Constantino? Who's the best principal you know? It's that time of year again. Time to nominate a great principal for the principal of the year. We've opened up the nomination process to allow anyone in the school, district, or community to nominate a deserving principal. We'll have one winner at each level. Head to awsp.org forward slash about slash principal of the year to fill out a nomination form. Speaking of outstanding educators, We'd like to congratulate Nathan Gibbs Bowling, recently named Washington's Teacher of the Year. Nathan teaches AP Government and Human Geography at Lincoln High in the Tacoma School District. Nathan also serves as a summer camp counselor at AWSL Middle Level Leadership Camps at CISPIS. Way to go, Nathan. Mark your calendars and save the date for this year's Equity Summit on January 21st and 2nd. More information will be coming soon about this powerful event. Sponsored by AWSP, WASA, and WASDA. You will not want to miss this conference. In addition to the Equity Summit, OSPI will be providing four different free trainings across the state in October and November. Be sure to check the OSPI Equity and Civil Rights webpage for more information. As we enter another school year and work to keep all of our students safe, we'd like to remind you of the realities and risk of human sex trafficking in our state. Washington Engage is a nonprofit group that is leading the charge in our state to create awareness and provide tools for schools to educate students and parents. For more information, go to wa.engage.com forward slash youth. Now some breaking news. OSPI will be releasing data soon to districts across the state that will help guide school improvement efforts in our K-12 system. If we know that socioeconomic status serves as a predictor for student achievement, is your school beating the odds? How do your discipline and chronic absenteeism rates impact your school's achievement data? This powerful data will be released at the district level in the coming weeks. Part of the interim plans for the Senate Early Learning and K-12 Education Committee is a work listening tour. This tour is designed to get input for meeting the state's constitutional mandate to fund education without reliance on local levies. They've got seven stops scheduled at seven different ESDs starting on September 30th and wrapping up on October 27th. Finally, we'd like to say a collective thank you to all of your hard work and energy in starting another amazing year for kids in our state. We'd like to share just one example of how a principal set the tone for her school. Susan Greer, principal at Anderson Island Elementary in the Stillicum School District, started the year with a Happy New Year's theme. Her staffalty and students all celebrated a new school year and even moved that celebration mindset into goal setting or New Year's resolutions with teachers and students. Contact Susan for more information. Are you doing something amazing for kids in your school? Be sure to let us know so we can feature you in our next episode. Don't be shy. You can even write in with a great idea you've heard from a friend. See you next time and keep up the great work for kids. Ready to rock and roll? Yep. It's coming whether I'm ready or not. Welcome to another episode of AWSP News You Can Use. You should probably start over. No, it's just upside down. Oh, you can't read that? I could. It's just going to be the funniest newscast ever. <laughs>